What's up, econ students? Today we're going to talk about comparative versus absolute advantage. Here we go. So comparative and absolute advantage both have to do with how a country should go about trading with other countries. And we're going to start with absolute advantage because it's really much simpler. Absolute advantage basically says that if a country can make something more efficiently than other countries, then it should not trade with those less efficient countries. And a good example of absolute advantage is what China is trying to do. They're trying to have an absolute advantage over all products from simple home appliances to even cars now. So now let's take a closer look into absolute advantage. Alright, so here we have a little model of absolute advantage with two made-up countries and the famous trade-off guns versus butter. And Satagonia can make 20 guns per hour, while Akanalia can only make 5 guns per hour. Satagonia can make 100 sticks of butter per hour, but Akanalia can only make 80 sticks of butter per hour. So according to absolute advantage, Satagonia should not trade with Akanalia at all because Satagonia is more efficient at making both guns and butter than Akanalia. Alright, now comparative advantage is a little bit more tricky, but I think you guys will catch on just fine. Comparative advantage is basically when a nation specializes in what they produce best or at a lower opportunity cost, and they trade for the rest. And it's okay if you guys don't really get what that means. Hopefully my example on the next slide will clarify what comparative advantage is. And in case any of you forgot what specialized means, it's basically a situation when a country or business decides to produce a narrow range of products in order to maximize efficiency. Okay, so here we have the comparative advantage model, and you'll notice that it's the same as the absolute advantage model, but now we're going to look at it through a different way, through opportunity cost. So if we look at this model through opportunity cost, we'll see that Satagonia, for every 20 guns it produces, it gives up 100 sticks of butter. In other words, if Satagonia produces 20 guns per hour, it cannot pr produce 100 sticks of butter. And so if we round those numbers down, we'll see that Satagonia, for every one gun it produces, it gives up five sticks of butter. Now Akanalia. For every five guns Akanalia produces, it has to give up 80 sticks of butter. So for every one gun Akanalia produces, it has to give up 16 sticks of butter. So now... Which country has the lower opportunity cost for producing guns? Well, if Satagonia produces one gun per hour, it only has to give up five sticks of butter per hour. But if Akanalia produces one gun per hour, it has to give up 16 sticks of butter per hour. So, Satagonia has the lower opportunity cost for producing guns. So, according to comparative advantage, Satagonia should produce guns and Akanalia should produce butter. So there you go. Hopefully that made sense. Thanks for watching this video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube page and like my Facebook page, both named Pass That Class. See you later.